everyone, thanks for tuning in. Um, I wanted to take some time to discuss the incisions of a deep plane facelift. As you can imagine, that is a very common question that we get during consultation when people are asking about a deep plane facelift. And I thought I'd show some examples of what that looks like over time. So this patient is about three to four weeks out from her surgery. And you can see here that the incision has healed very well. Now she has some factors that are going for her. She's very fair skin, but the incision is, was along the hairline, which is hard to see. There's a portion that comes in front of the ear. In females, we usually wrap it behind the tragus, which is that little piece of cartilage right in front of your ear canal. It comes down and right in front of the earlobe. And then the part that you really can't see is that it wraps on the back of the ear and then it comes down the hairline. Now this patient um, hasn't colored her hair, her hair yet because we do ask patients not to color their hair for about four weeks after surgery. So you can see some of her roots coming in, but um, that is what an incision looks like four weeks after surgery. Here's an example of what an incision should look like a couple of months after surgery, where it's very hard to see. And you, know, you almost have to be looking for it to find it. No incision is invisible, but that is always our goal here at LMP. And then here you can see how, um, where the incision was, where we mark it out just with a drawing. So I hope that helps give everyone on, in our audience an idea of what deep plane incisions look like and where they're placed over one week progressing into a couple of months.